Jersey native Martin Truex Jr. raced his way to victory on Sunday at the Ford EcoBoost 400, clinching his first ever NASCAR Cup Series championship. Now he's slowing it down just a little to visit with us here in the studio. Please welcome NASCAR Cup Series champion Martin Truex Jr. All right, so you grew up a Jersey boy. Yeah. Uh, clamming? Well, when I was old enough to, when okay. I was a teenager. Your dad's a fisherman, right? Yes, absolutely. But also a race car driver. Race car driver's a hobby. Um, fishing was the family business. Right. So is it true it started for you on go-karts? It did. All I right. was 11. And they were not fast enough? Well, they were. When I was 11, they were pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> and then you decided to graduate to NASCAR and go, yep. like, what's the top speed you go? Uh, I think the fastest I've ever been is about 220. <laughs> what's that like? Uh, it's it's not as crazy as you would think. I've been doing it long enough. It's like, you know, you're doing TV. You just, it's perfect. It just works. There isn't even that <laughs> one moment where you're like, oh, crap. <laughs> um, we do have some oh, crap moments. <laughs> some in it, I mean, we even had some on Sunday in the race that we won the championship uh -huh. in. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's just a fun sport. It's adrenaline. It's um, high speed. It's a crazy long season. It's a lot of fun. Now, you did something that was Critical, I guess. With 70 laps to go, you stopped. You had a visit to the pit crew, right? Uh -huh. Here we call that hair and makeup, but it's different <laughs> in, in racing. Right. Um, and that was a risk to you because it took time out. Yeah. But do you think that's what made the difference? Definitely. Um, yeah. I mean, that's what got us the lead. And then just the, the way the cautions fell, um, it, it put me in position to win the race. You know, we were 37 laps to go. I had the lead, which I hadn't had for most of the race. And it was up to me to hang on to it, and we were able to, so it was, uh, it was pretty awesome. I believe in the same. Visit the pit crew early and often. Um, <laughs> you've had a hell of a year, though. It has not been easy, just reading up on what you've been through this past year. So the team owner had a heart attack and, and yeah. bypass surgery. They didn't tell you because they didn't want to mess up your race, you know, game. Yeah. Um, a crew member passed away, mm -hmm. and your girlfriend is, is struggling with ovarian cancer. All of that's going on while you're trying to win this series. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's just been a cra really a crazy couple years for Sherry and I as far as, you know, her health goes. But this year for our team in general, just to go through all that adversity and, and our team owner, you know, just two weeks ago having this and him not being able to be at the championship race this weekend, it was tough. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think through all of it, just we've become such a family in the four years that we've all been together on this race team and learned to get through all these things and realize that racing – helps but how do you do that mindset. racing like a lot of sports is very mental and if you yeah. if you get in your own head it can go south so yeah what, what what's your advice to others on how you deal well, with those personal struggles and still excel professionally you know I don't know what my advice is but I think that you know because of Sherry and I what we've been through it our team has been through that as well they were always there for me they were they were always there for us I think they learned a few years ago how to deal with these kind of things and when I was going to the racetrack and Sherry was initially going through her surgery and, and um, her chemo initially when it was at the absolute worst. I think her, I maybe helped my team understand how I got through that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I did it because she's so strong and she's so independent and, and knows how much racing means to me and, and my career and how much I love my job. And she's like, you got to go do this and I'll be fine when you get back. What do you think, Sherry? Is it, I mean, is it a positive attitude? What, how, do you, how do the two of you do that? I think so, yeah. I think a lot of it is a positive attitude and just putting things into perspective. For us, you know, I was home battling this horrible disease, and for him to go to the racetrack and be able to do what he loves for a living was just his, it was like a retreat for him. You it's know? not terrible for you to watch that? No, it's not terrible for me to watch. No, I love it. We've been together for 13 years, so I've been watching it for a long time. Oh, I love what he does. Racing. Her dad owned a race team. Still, it's racing. scary. Yeah. It's scary for me on the outside, but fun to watch. <laughs> fun but scary. Congratulations. Thank you very it's much. It's an awesome achievement. Absolutely. All the best Thank to you. you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.